Hello and welcome. Now today we have not just one tea, but two teas. That is because Wayne is here, or Electronscape, as those of you who know him. Hello! <laughs> there you go. That's your tea. And today I'm gonna continue with the... And I should have finished all this before he came, but yeah, stuff happens. So what I'm gonna do today is the effects unit. The effects unit. The effects circuit. And it's this one using the PT2599 FX chip. Before I continue, I wish to mention that PCBWay are having their yearly big sale shopping festival with up to 70% off and cash coupons. Seems quite interesting. Do check them out. So here is a circuit diagram for the FX uh, circuit. And I'm gonna have to build two of these, which is gonna be <laughs> annoying because, I mean, even though there's just not that many components, I mean, it's not that much of a variety of components, just capacitors and resistors mostly. <laughs> but it's, it's just in quite a bit of a windy network, kind of like the buck sandal circuit. So yeah, it's going to be a bit of a... So yeah, let's get the breadboard out and let's start building this. Okay, so we've kind of almost built this. What I've had to do is that 15k resistor there. Uh, the one which is like next to the 4.7 I've had to kind of take that down because it's just making the entire thing quiet. So we'll test this in a minute, but there's this one little issue about digital ground, which I'm just... I've uh, read around that sometimes they say, you know, to join them or something, and some people just you treat it as the same. What could actually happen? I mean, what, is it just noise? Yeah, you just introduce noise, won't you? Pulsating noise. So, you see, you think putting a, a, a inductor there? In this case, I would probably still think inductor would work if it's been amplified later, right. because the, um, uh, the inductor will smooth out the alternating signal, won't it? So, hmm. which part of this is digital? It's this. Can you see the digital ground is the point ones, and this is the analog ground. So the analog ground is actually not much there. Okay, so pin three is digital. Yeah, literally. So that might be a voltage reference then. The pin two, you mean? Yeah. 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 And then these, yeah. And then this is the only, to be honest, the only thing that goes to analog ground is the potentiometer, which, which actually controls the delay. Yeah, I was. I'm still tempted to get the digital ground directly, even from the SID box ground. Oh, so connect the ground to the SID box ground? It's practically digital. Okay, because so the, that's... the SID box has its separated um, grounding planes. It's got the digital and the analog, but it's separated by an actual reservoir mm. of nothing. Okay, let's connect the ground first. Mm. <laughs> Again, stupid loud noise. I'll disconnect that just in case. Yeah, it's the last. I think. If I've got it on there, James. Turrican. Turrican. Three shooter, yeah. Uh, see it. Okay, so let's give this a go. Hopefully, this will work now. Oh, something came on. Let's see if it actually works. Okay, so it's working. It's doing something. Yes! Yay, it works! <laughs> That's doing that because you're adjusting the delay. So you have to change it. Ah, of course. You got it working! <laughs> That's a weird thing. So we can do you can adjust the intensity of it here. That this is good. This sounds good. What the resistor basically does, it's like it changes the, um, do you know the, the variable resistor you have this? It changes the thing of it. What the frick do you call that? What's the word, man? Fizz. Yeah, no fizz. Um, uh, no, okay, you have like um, a range which it kind of um, goes between, right? So it adjusts the entire range. Yeah, offset. Offset, that's it. I forgot the freaking word. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> right. So that changes the offset, so it makes it roomy-like. So let's connect this directly to the chip without the resistor. Right. Be 
you hear that? It sounds like a room. So you can't actually make it into the delay, the, the equi anyway. So it increases the entire thing. So I think that's better without that resistor. Yeah. What's the resistor for It's this one here. Oh. Was that... Ooh, I got goosebumps yeah, from that one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just, uh, the intensity of it. Comes so weird. That's good. Yeah. That sounds like you're inside a corridor out on the, like in, you'd be going in a ginnel or something between two houses. Or a jetty way for those from Nottingham. Is that what it's called? I've never heard of this term at all. Hi, <laughs> then. I, I was going to get fact for that one myself, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to either a ginnel or a, or a. I don't know what else you call that. Well, but yes, we got to work in this thingy. Now we can meet build two of them. <laughs> Commit it to the solid. Yes. But you've taken them out and now you've ruined it perfectly. You ruined it. You, you ruined it. <laughs> It's all ruined. <laughs> that one, what was that one? That's uh, 560 puffs. <laughs> <laughs> 13 and 14 connected, and the next one is 16 and 15. Mm. So, yeah. Okay, so there you go. See? Dead simple. <laughs> you know this stuff. Why am I saying, yeah, do this, do this. <laughs> You've been doing Make it. Actually, sure you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Face going, ooh. <laughs> <Does it? laughs> so we have one of the circuits here built, it's the left channel, and uh, now to test it. So let's put the actual um, it's connected to the sit box and also connected to external speakers. Okay, so we've connected everything. Now let's play this. That's the amount of effect. This is the effect adjustment. So this, um, this circuit here, basically I built a couple of things which I haven't, you know, documented, I haven't made videos on, because you've seen essentially the same thing, you know, that we built before uh, with this one. This is like the input switcher, you know, you go, you switch the voltage, sorry, you switch the um, audio, put the voltage here, and then that's the switch, and you have the input 1, input 2, and this relay switches between input 1 and 2. So it's the aux and the sit box inputs, and it switches between. And this is just like a voltage multi, well, the a thingy port multiplier kind of thing. Um, so it's like 12 volts in, and you can all this becomes 12 volts. 15 volts in here, all this becomes 15 volts. So that's yeah, the simple things. I don't show. I was in a rush, so I did them without filming them. <laughs> Being a solo, self-made YouTuber without any advantages or favors from others is extremely difficult, so an absolutely huge thank you goes to my patrons for your support, especially my top tier patrons. Electronscape, Axel Dominator, Rich Garbrood, Aaron Metcalf, and Chris Sevelensky. Until next time, I say adios!